Pull it, pull it. A fan. Oh. A fan. Oh, God damn. A little perfume roll rollerball. Hey girl, hey, welcome to another video of my back to school series. Today I'm talking about locker essentials and a back to school emergency kit. So I'm gonna go through with tips on organizing your locker and keeping it clean first, and then I'll go through what is in my emergency kit for school. So most people's lockers are those metal kind of like tall skinny ones that you get half of or th mm, they'll be like two or three stacked on top of each other. So it's kind of small, but you can make it work if you have the right organization. First of all, you can decorate your locker however you want to. I don't really have decoration ideas for this video, it's more of organization, but um, I never really decorate my locker. I would maybe get like a magnet or stick on mirror, put it on the door, and then I would have a locker shelf, hence this that I'm holding. Where did you come from? Anyway, this isn't an actual locker shelf. I'm pretty sure I accidentally donated my locker shelf for it somewhere in the house after I cleaned out my closet, but um, it's it looks just like this except it's square and it's taller. So basically, you can get them at like Staples or Target or anywhere that has like basic back to school things, but um, it's it fits perfectly in a standard locker and it kind of divides it almost in half depending on the size of your locker. And then you have a whole shelf, which what I would do is on top of the shelf, I would put my binders and my textbooks and then underneath it, I would put anything else, like my survival kit if I have one, or like uh, an extra jacket I had in there, or just random stuff. The way I would organize my binders is my school was on a block schedule system, so we would every other day we would have classes, like we'd have four of our classes on Monday, Wednesday, and then three others on Tuesday, Thursday, blah blah. I would have the spines of the binders in my Monday, Wednesday classes facing outward, facing me in order of the classes and then the, flip the other way so the spines were facing the back of the locker, um, then they were stacked like opposite this way, I would have my Tuesday, Thursday classes in order. So they all fit together and they took up not very much space and they were all in order of when the class was. So yeah, that's the best way I think to, there's to use a locker is to use all the space you can by creating two layers with a shelf and you can do whatever you want with the shelf, that's just my advice as to organizing and I didn't keep a lot of stuff in my locker like I said so I was kind of minimal but if you keep a lot of stuff the more organization the better. And now moving on to my high school emergency survival kits. This is just a bunch of stuff fit in a small space that I would use just in case um, I'd have it at school because you never know what can happen when you are a teenage girl you have a lot of things come up that could be like oh I need this it's stat and then you have it in your survival kit. So what's in my survival kit? Let's go. Oil absorbing sheets. Throughout the day, your skin can kind of oily. These are really useful. Hand sanitizer. Let's just say schools aren't the cleanest place. Money, you never know when you're gonna be out of money and you are starving for lunch and you just, it's always a helpful thing to have. Um, I wouldn't necessarily have 20, I'd probably have like 10 bucks, maybe five, um, but this is the only cash I had in my. Headphones, when you're in class and you guys have like independent work time, it's necessary to have your headphones so you can listen to your music or if you ride the bus or something. And if you forget headphones one day, have an extra pair in your survival kit, you will thank yourself like a million times. Tampons or pads or whatever you need, little thing of Advil to go with it or just some sort of painkiller, because even not for your period, but like if you get like a headache or something and the nurse can't give you, I don't know, I never went to the nurse, so I don't know what she could legally give you. An extra pen or pencil or office supply of some sort that you sometimes just lose in the middle of the year and you have no idea where it went. Some lotion, this is good if you just realize your hands are really dry or you have some dry skin on your face or you just really need lotion. Also, school survival kits are a good place to utilize a bunch of little samples that you get that you never think you're gonna use and because they don't take up much space and you don't need a lot of them. So um, sometimes if you order from Sephora, you'll get like a sample, just throw it in here. This is like a sample of moisturizer I got. It's perfect for those kind of things. And then you don't, it's gonna waste. Deodorant, I would have a mini deodorant, but I don't actually physically own one. So this is just a representation. Um, gym class, whatever, if you forgot it for the day, as far as makeup goes, I probably wouldn't bring that much. I would just bring a tiny little sample of concealer, um, then a little mascara, and some sort of like moisturizing lip balm. Okay, that is An external iPhone charger. If you are at school, your phone is dying, you're gonna want some extra charge, or just bring your charger, plug it in the classroom, and the teacher doesn't have to know. LOL that this is actually for an old DS that I used to have. A fan to bring out in class when you need to remind all the bitches how fat those were. 
a curling iron for when you're having a hair emergency. You just need to run to the bathroom and curl your entire head of hair. You know, you never know what could happen. It's an emergency. I hope you guys realize these were both complete jokes. Please don't do either of these. Okay, back to actually being helpful. Sunglasses, these are just a pair I got for free in an event thing that just some cheap sunglasses that you don't really care about too much. Um, because if you have class outside or if you get them when you drive home or if you're at school and you just need to block out all the haters, you know, you never know. Tissues are always a good idea. Band-aids are a necessity. Gum. Do I even need to say more? Trick of the trade, if someone asks you for gum, you say, oh, sorry, I got it from Carl. I always did that. No. If they know Carl, then they'll go ask Carl and not bother you. And if they, you don't, they don't know Carl, you say, oh, bummer, no gum for you. Whether or not you know a Carl, just always answer with Carl. Carl, that kills people. Maybe some floss in case you get something in your teeth. Ugh. Safety pins, mm, this, I would probably substitute this for needle and thread. Some people think that's a necessity at school, but I personally, would never sew something at school. If you really want to include noodle and thread, but I'd rather just like pin it um, for the time being and sew when I'm at home. Some breath spray so that when you're in your locker and a really cute boy's coming, you just spray it really fast and be like, I'm ready. I'm totally kidding, but that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Straight from a movie. Not quite an emergency necessity, but maybe some tweezers if you have like one hair that's really bothering you or you don't want to listen to your teacher, you'd rather pluck your eyebrows, you know, do you. A little pair of nail clippers that have one of these flip out nail files. This is really helpful if you have a hangnail or it's broken or something and you want to just get rid of it quickly. And last but not least, a little perfume rollerball because smelling good is good. So these are a few things I would recommend to keep with you in your locker or in your bag if you have room or whatever you want to do, maybe your car for a school emergency kit. I'll never know what could go wrong and you'll be thankful that you have these things when you need them. So let me know what you would keep in your school emergency kit in the comments down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Good luck out there kids. Enjoy your back to school season and I hope your locker is really helpful. Signing off, I'm Christy. Bye. You